art walk with Ashwini. I am walking you into my studio. On the wall is my self portrait. On the table are birds and flowers. By the way, I am accepting portrait commissions. Imagine giving a gift of a fun, colorful portrait painting to your friends and family. In the window is my early artwork. On the ground are my paintings and my color studies, color algorithms. interesting thing that is a shadow box for still life setup that's another self portrait of mine and in the shadow box i have two still life projects going on at the same time the dahlia in the front and the sunflower in the back these are my color studies in the back i have paintings of flowers, of fall colors. My work is inspired by nature. From the colorful, delicate flowers to the fun and adorable birds. In order to understand nature, I study it from the perspectives of the old master artists. Doing master studies strengthen my art practice. Studying paintings done by old masters, interpreting their work, copying their work to understand the subtle visual language of painting are a part of my practice. I did this master study of Manet's Last Flowers. They are called last flowers because in the last months of Manet's life, he funneled his waning energy into a series of 16 small flower paintings. And this is the painting titled Roses in a Champagne Glass that I did. Do you know what plein air painting is? It's painting outside in the nature. Here is a plein air painting of a peony flower in the park in Seattle that I did. Uh, don't you think the graceful peony is posing for the painting as royalty? That's why I titled this painting Her Royal Highness. Have you ever wondered? that how my early artwork looked. You know what, even I had completely forgotten about my early paintings. And guess what? The treasure is out. I want to embrace this opportunity to show you my art from the past. My art journey began as an acrylic painter. Let's celebrate the beginning, the gentle nervousness, yet the excitement to try something new. I used to be really hesitant about showcasing my early works, but now I learned to honor each and every step of my art journey. Why do I paint words? For three reasons. First, because they're cute. Second, because they're cute. And third, because they're cute. <laughs> I love painting birds because they are the opportunity to explore various colors and geometric shapes. And the tiny adorable paintings bring immense joy. I really enjoyed painting a series of three goldfinch paintings titled A Little Bird Told Me. Hey, by the way, do you know that the American goldfinch, this little bird, is the state bird of Washington State. Hey, do you remember my Stellar's J or Blue J painting, the blue bird? It's now available as prints. Yay! Check them out on my website.
You might have seen my color studies on Instagram. This facet of my art practice holds really high importance as these studies feed my big paintings in the studio. These studies teach me abstraction of light and shadow shapes, the color modulation, relationship of each and every color with one another in a composition, the effect of the light key on the objects. I have posted some quick tutorials of abstracting light and shadow planes on the objects into simple geometric shapes such as triangles, circles, ovals and squares. So check the tutorials on my Instagram. And it is such an honor to present to you my most favorite and valuable studies into your art collection. I often get asked that do I draw? Because I mostly post my paintings on Instagram. Yes. I love sketching and drawing as much as I love to paint. Do you know a little secret? I used to be intimidated by drawing and thought I could never draw. But slowly, steadily working on my fear, practicing drawing is changing my perspective. So, know that even if you are intimidated with something you wish to pursue, keep practicing. The skill will grow and the fear will go. Do you know that I love studying color and doing color charts, color wheels? Well, here is my favorite color study that I turned into several art goodies so that you can enjoy my work in your day-to-day -day life. The colorful keychain will definitely make you smile. The colorful coffee mug will definitely brighten your day. I am sure that the colorful sketchbooks and the pencils will make you practice sketching and drawing with enthusiasm. The color collection is my humble gratitude to all of you for supporting me. I invite you to find all these colorful gifts and small art on my website. Hey, do you know that my online store is now open for you to shop? Definitely go check it out. For more colorful fun, follow me on Instagram. I regularly post there my artwork, short and quick tutorials. So find me on Instagram. Please help me spread the word, tell your friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel and show me your support. Subscribe to my newsletter to receive a free step-by-step -step zone palette painting tutorial. For taking the art walk with me i hope you really enjoyed follow my work on instagram on facebook and uh, i will see you next time thank you so much take care bye